Just Cause is back! Once more, we don the dirty genes of Rico Rodriguez as he solves all of life's problems by destroying a bunch of things, which, let me tell you, will not solve a lost library card, just so you know. It kind of got me thinking about why we love to destroy. I mean, is it just that we get bored with being good in games? I mean, is it just we're just, like, we could be just curious to see what things look like when they're on fire? That might just be me. Or it could be that we spend so much of our days creating that we just need to let off a little bit of steam and pointlessly smash things until they're small. Ever since the days of finding that first bonus stage on Street Fighter, you know, where you smash up a car and then realising the joy that came from taking your frustrations out on inanimate objects, we've all known that this smashy demon is within us. And sometimes video games let us live out that fantasy without your mum going spare or that guy in the phone shop giving you a weird look as you replace your screen for the 14th stroke 15th time. <laughs> Anyone who's lived in a big city has dreamed of fulfilling this dream, of being a giant monster that smashes it all up so that we don't ever have to go to work again. It usually occurs kind of midway through a morning commute, I find. It's just a shame we can't all be a hundred foot high and punch buildings because it looks super satisfying. I punched a building once. Nothing works better to alleviate your life frustrations than a trip to A&E, mainly as the queue will, ironically, destroy your will to live. Crash Junctions in the Burnout franchise came along at just the right moment. You know, driving can be fun, but sometimes you just want to ram people off the road as you're in one of those moods, okay? And along came Burnout, and it not only encouraged you to smash as many things as possible, but it also gave you a delicious monetary tally on just how much damage you'd caused. As the camera swooped over, you looked like a demented Mr. Burns as you clasped your hands together in glee as you got a gold medal for destroying those people's journeys to their vacation. <laughs> It was their own fault for getting in the way of my exploding car. Sometimes you just want to destroy a few things at a time that suits you, perhaps on your way to work. Well, then a large number of you must have enjoyed traumatising pigs who are otherwise just minding their own business. How dare they? Using the winning trifecta of destruction plus luck Plus, being allowed to use a catapult for once in your life, those pigs didn't know what hit them. Well, they might have guessed from the title, but they're pigs they probably couldn't read. I'm not sure. One of the first games to really embrace the fact that driving nicely to win is so boring and a bit hard because, you know, concentrating is like super lame. Mm. Then, you know, why not be rewarded for bad driving? Yeah? This game actually just had a whole mode that was a giant ring where you just smashed into everyone, into bits. It was great. So even if you totally suck at driving, you win, which is good if you might suck at driving, like some people. <laughs> Whilst you're all going off to destroy all that you see before you, some of us just like to create, to build beautiful worlds together, where the only limit is our imagination. Where like-minded people can stare in awe at our wondrous creations, so huge they could eclipse the sun and bring us closer to the heavens. Inspiring joy and hope for thousands as they can see all that can be achieved when we work together as one. And then after all that's done, right, you stick a bunch of TNT everywhere because once you create, you must destroy. And also Stephen, who helped build it, is being a complete jerk and he won't return your text messages. So you destroy the creation that you built together that took over a month because finally they'll reply, in my case, attention. So in short, we all clearly have life issues to deal with. And sometimes blowing up stuff in video games helps us move forward in our real lives. As you can see, Stephen, I'm fine, yeah? Or I can just, you know, play Just Cause and pretend that your face is that bridge and destroy it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and let us know just what you like destroying in games in the comments below. We'll see you next time.